Okay guys, I lied. Um, I actually think I want the Fujifilm X100V now. Alright, what's up guys? It's Diaris here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 2 of Small Talks. Um, so the X Summit just got finished just a couple hours ago um, and you know they released some cool things there and yesterday if you saw my previous video uh, I was talking about uh, some of the rumors of what was supposed to be shown today at the X Summit for instance you know the leaks for the specs and for the camera of the Fujifilm X100V was released um, and today those rumors have came to light they were true and in yesterday's video I was saying like, eh, I'm not really interested in that type of camera line there. Um, you know, I was really, really more interested in looking into the Fujifilm X-T4, uh, which they did talk about uh, there. I'll talk about that a little bit later towards the end of the video. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. Today changed my mind. Like I, I, I really think someone who does street photography, I think that is like the perfect camera for me. Um, yeah, like I, I, I think I think that's something I might want to invest in. Um, so yeah, I apologize for lying yesterday that I was like, eh, I don't really want that. Right, whatever, X one hundred V, whatever. But now I'm like, okay, I think I might need a hair to save some money for that, or maybe sell a, a arm or a leg or, or something there, because um, yeah, if I want to get that in the XT four this year, that's gonna be at the amount of prices. So anyway, um, it will be coming out with. Two different colors as usual it'll come up with silver uh and black combination as well as a full black combination now since i am a u.s citizen the prices for these are 1399 us dollars that's not too bad considering what's in it uh for instance it is weather sealed so that is very important especially if you're trying to go out there into the streets like myself um and i love getting rainy shots um and i kind of can't do that with my xt uh, xt20 which is what i'm filming with right now um, so I definitely need something lightweight and weather resistant like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's like a big deal. Yeah, and it, it's coming with a new lens. Uh, I believe it's uh, 23 uh, millimeter uh, with a 2.0 f-stop. Now I like shooting wide. Um, that's why I really can't wait to get the 16 millimeter lens, but I think 23 would be pretty good. And I, I don't know, I just think just kind of focusing on that focal length uh, will be like, really good and because it is a 2.0 uh, f-stop lens um, that means it's going to do pretty good in low light situations I can still be out there shooting and knowing for a fact that I'm going to get some nice shots with you know unless less, gr less, less grainy pictures on there than what I would normally get with the X-T20 so we know it is a 26.1 megapixel camera it has an enhanced face and eye detection Basically kind of the same type of technology that is pretty good in the X-T3. Of course, the color science on this camera is going to be great. It's a Fuji camera. Yeah, so it's going to come with the color chrome blue, which looks pretty nice. I think that will add um, definitely some nice detail to some of the street photography, um, you know, uh, pictures that I, you know, I do like, I like to kind of edit. I do like the blue tone. So that coming with that filter is like, or that film simulation, um, that's a nice added touch. It's also going to come with a grainy effect. Um, so if you kind of want to give your, you know, your pictures that kind of like old school grain effect, uh, it's going to have all this in-house within the camera for the film simulations. And for all those film heads out there, it will be able to record at 4K at 30 frames per second and up to 120 frames per second when you're filming at 1080p. So yeah, guys, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to this camera now. I think it, it is definitely going to be on my wish list. Um, what if, in addition to the Fuji X-T4, which they did announce towards the end of the X Summit. And the official announcement day is gonna be on February 26th. Um, so I did hear some of those rumors, um, but I was just hoping that, hey, maybe they might do a surprise and actually show us uh, today's X Summit. But no, it is still gonna be this month, but it's gonna be on the 26th, and that's gonna be the official announcement. So I can't wait for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that. So those are two new cameras in the Fuji line that I am going to hopefully try to get this year and show you guys and hopefully you know that will kind of like give me way more um, exposure or way more uh, or bring in more capabilities to my photography um, and you know I've just been hoping 
um, to get like a new camera body this year because I have been working with the X-T20 for uh, a, at least a little bit over a year now and uh, it's been doing a great job but I, I feel like I have exhausted that system and um, you know I need to need an upgrade so yeah guys that's it today for this small talk episode if you guys like these videos make sure you drop a like button down below make sure you comment below did you enjoy the X Summit today? Did you enjoy the announcements? What about some of the lenses that I didn't really go into? Um, are you excited for the X100V? Um, or are you just looking forward to the XT4 announcement? Uh, but yeah, guys, make sure to share this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the ring and bell so that way you'll be notified with more videos like this as well as my street photography coming to you very soon. So as always, guys, keep the dream alive. Peace. <music>